Bluebird Cafe is the perfect one-stop shop for house-brewed beer, soda, freshly churned ice cream, and delicious sandwiches and snacks. The Bluebird has three locations around Seattle, its first, however, being on Pike in between 12th and 13th Avenue. I sat down with owner Josh Reynolds, who gave me the scoop on why the Bluebird Ice Creamery is so unique. So today we've got a release of a new flavor called Choco Taco Cat, and we've been doing once a year for Capitol Block Party, collaborating with a band, a headlining band every year, and making these ice cream flavors designed by the artists. Uh, but we haven't done a Seattle-based artist yet, so these guys, Ch uh, Taco Cat, got in touch with us, and they're based in Seattle, so we decided it was time to do a Seattle-based flavor. So we collaborated, probably exchanged two dozen emails, all the members came up with Taco Cat hung around the Bluebird so. all day to greet fans and enjoy their brand new flavor as soon as possible. I'm Leela. I play drums in Taco Cat. We're at the Bluebird Ice Creamery on Capitol Hill. It's, it's our first flavor and likely our only flavor. Babe gave me freaking Simpsons. Oh my god, it's horrible. No. <laughs> After we had all had ice cream I've ever had. and even greater ice cream, I sat down with Taco Cat to get some insight on their story and the ice cream creation process. Came through a lot of emails. Yeah. Many emails. Many emails. Yeah. Many emails yeah. There was a lot of there was a lot of brainstorming and yeah. Yeah, there was like a lot of ideas and a yeah. I don't even remember. I think one of us had like a choco taco and it was just like oh man, duh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name for sure. Yeah. Like, oh, choco taco cat. What? I don't, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, we pitched. Probably 20 different ideas. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot. And it did and come down to like, what's actually possible to make? Right. Yeah. I, don't yeah. Really, I don't really know that's how you make ice cream, but <laughs> can you do pop rocks? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the chocolate, yeah, chocolate tacos are delicious. So. So yeah, good. they really are. Yeah. Are they like drumsticks, kind of? Kind of, but it's like actually taco. shaped like a taco. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it has, yeah, and it's got yeah, that sort of like cone. soft waffle yeah. cone. It's yeah. so good. I, uh, <laughs> I was just riding down a bunch of palindromes with my friend Scotty and we uh, rode down like race car and a man at Flyanna Canal and all the usual ones and we thought of Taco Cat and I was like that would be a great band name and then we were bouncing around a lot of other ideas and then that was the one that stuck. Do you like tacos or cats better? Cats. Cats. I guess cats. <laughs> what was your guys' best concert experience as performers? Yeah. I mean, our, our album release show at Chop Suey oh, was amazing too. Oh, like, yeah. Like, well, <laughs> 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 it's like a lot of our friends who have been there, like, we've been a band for a long time. And, like, yeah. It was just, yeah, that was a really special show. <clears throat> well, it, was it was super fun, like, and everybody there like, seemed to have a great time. Having, yeah. And I got to throw candy, and people started shouting candy, 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 candy. <laughs> Yeah, we're really... Actually, we're going to retire before we play any more shows. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. That's true.